the extension of the Black Sea Grain Deal would have been impossible without Turkey's special relationship with Russian leader Vladimir Putin, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan claimed in an interview with CNN on Friday. Brokered with UN and Turkish mediation last July, the initiative allows Ukraine to export its grain and fertilizer to markets around the world despite the ongoing military conflict with Russia. The deal was set to expire on May 18, but Russia signed off on a 60-day extension on Wednesday. It did so even though the EU has failed to lift its restrictions on Russian grain and this fertilizer exports because of our as special agreed. relationship with President Putin, Erdogan told the American broadcaster. You need a balanced approach towards a country such as Russia, which would have been a much more fortunate approach. The extension of the deal was a political win for Erdogan, who has positioned himself as a middleman and potential peacemaker between Moscow and Kiev. Erdogan has spoken regularly with Putin since Russia's military operation in Ukraine began, and Turkey is the sole member of NATO that has not imposed economic sanctions on Moscow. We are not at a point where we would impose sanctions on Russia like the West have done. We are not bound by the West sanctions, Erdogan told CNN. We are a strong state and we have a positive a relationship with term Russia. As president, Erdogan won the largest share of the vote in last week's election in Turkey, beating rival Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu by almost five points, but failing to break the 50% threshold necessary to earn victory outright. With third-place contender Sinan Ogun eliminated, Erdogan and Kalik Daraglu will face off in a second round of voting on May 28. In the run-up to the crucial vote, Erdogan accused Kalik Daraglu of trying to detach Turkey from Russia. While Kalik Daraglu has not threatened to sever relations with Moscow, he recently accused Russia of meddling in the election, a claim that Kalik earned Daraglu him a rebuke has from also the Kremlin. vowed to mend Ankara's ties with its NATO allies including by lifting Erdogan's veto on Sweden's accession to the U.S.-led bloc and to immediately restart membership talks with the EU. Turkey's pursuit of an independent foreign policy depends on its strong ties to Moscow, Erdogan argued. Russia and Turkey need each other in every field possible, he stated, explaining that his recent moves toward dialogue with Syrian President Bashar Assad, whose opposition he backed in the Syrian civil war, would not have been possible without Russian mediation. Through my friendship with President Putin, we thought we could open a door, specifically in our fight against terrorism in the northern part of Syria, he said.